I really enjoy it. Uh, it's a special atmosphere, special park with a ton of history and a lot of unique, um, a lot of unique aspects to the game. Do you like many guys when they come here check the lake as you're driving in to see if the wind's going to be blowing in or out? Yeah, you have to. That's it's part of it, um, certainly. And uh, you know, you're liable to get some some cold days in the summer too, like like today and tomorrow. Now, speaking of your Pittsburgh days, you're going to be facing off against a former Pittsburgh Pirate and former Yankee, good friend of yours, Jameson Jameson Tyone. Uh, just what what will that be like for you? Uh, it'll be it'll it'll be fun. Um, it would be the first time that we've done it, and um, you know, I think we're both we're both up for uh, we're both up for a, a good competition, and um, uh, so it, it'll be. I'm hoping we both come out, you know, feeling pretty good about it. But uh, obviously, we're we're focused on try, trying to get the win. Obviously, you're trying to win, yes. But has there been any banter between the two of you? I know you're still close. Yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't say any banter. No. Uh, that's that's not really how we that's not really how we jive but um you know uh we spent some time together the other day and you know, he's just having such a great year and he's settled in um and he was doing a really great job last year coming back from a couple injuries uh and and, and settled in towards the end of the year so it's good to see him you know in a new organization get his feet what allowed what allowed you guys to become close friends when you were at the pirates what was it about him yeah well i mean when i signed i moved right into pirate city with uh, clay holmes and and jamo was like one room down with tyler glass now and um so he, i mean i don't know that that's where it all started you know and um uh, jamo and i obviously i mean jamo clicks with everybody you're not gonna find a person that doesn't like jamo but you know we've been especially close since those first few days for sure you mentioned the success he's having what's allowed him to have success in this league in your opinion uh, his perseverance uh, he's had two tommy johns uh he's a cancer survivor um you know some people you know some people aren't as fortunate as him to be as resilient to come back from it but at the same time like you know he's he's not only just survived but i mean he's gonna be a 10-year major league veteran um he represented the yankees with grace and class he's a great ambassador for the cubbies um you know people in pittsburgh love him he pitched really well for pittsburgh so it's just uh it's just a great story about a great human being really look at your last start you're throwing the ball well last couple what leaves you most encouraged um to command Less non-competitive pitches, um, sharper on our reads, you know, uh, uh, and 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 physically, you know, kind of kind of settling in. Even though you know I had the cramps the last start, but but um, you know, f feeling feeling settled. You mentioned the cramping. Have you done anything differently? I know the climate's a little cooler here, but any anything to try to prevent that here? Um, no, I, I you know just hydrated through the through the night of the game, and then. Um, you know, just got a, a little bit of treatment, but there was really nothing there. And, you know, like Susan said, I'll have to stay up on the bananas. <laughs> um, you know, you look at that one, and you, we've seen you do this throughout the course of your career. You did a little bit last start. You have the ability to really dial it up when you need to. How much of a luxury is that? Uh, that's that's that really can calm your nerves out there and and you know but but especially when you're able to put the ball where you want to put the ball you know at, at 70 80 percent uh that's that's you know because sometimes when you try to dial it down or conserve you know if, if the quality is affected that's that's tough but um it's really the sweet spot when you can you know you can execute at a, at a little less intensity and then have the ability to just add another level time is ticking away in this regular season does it feel more intense for you in september at all um it feels almost relaxing to me because you know the our favorite part of the year is coming up uh and the games start to have a, a little more you know uh, gravitas i guess like they, they mean a little bit more you're more aware of where you are in standings and what you need to do um and so you come to the park and you're just energized to play knowing that your reward in the next few weeks is, is to be in the playoffs you mentioned the standings you guys have been neck and neck with the orioles it seems like all year long you have a three-game series with them after you return from the west coast just what do you think this final stretch run is going to be like for this team i think it's going to be exciting um I think we got a you know quite a few ball games before we get to the Baltimore. They're just they're just such a really great club. I mean they're so balanced. You know play defense well, they hit well, uh, they pitch well, and um, you know they they've been a tough opponent for us. We we haven't played our best baseball yet. Um, we certainly you know we can we can up it a little bit here and there for sure, uh, and and that should bode well for us down the stretch. Um, 
And, you know, like I said, I'm, these are my favorite times, so I'm looking forward to those games. Well, you know what? We're cheating. The people at home, this is taped a day early. It's actually your birthday tomorrow, so nice. big plans for 34. Uh, pitch well. That's, that's number one, pitch well. Uh, get out of here with a W. And... Um, and then, uh, yeah, hope, hopefully, hopefully my boys are still awake by the time we get home.